Okay, I've pulled my dough out and I'm gonna go ahead and work it into a rectangle here. Got some flour uh, just used for dusting on my countertop. Um, if you're having a hard time getting your flour to stick to the countertop, sometimes you can spray a little um, pan spray like Pam and then dust it with the flour. And mine's sticking pretty well today. I have a uh, yardstick here to help me um, just kind of work as a guide for measuring. I'm gonna take this out a um, pan here and just throw it down on the counter and start shaping it into a rectangle that's about 12 inches by 30 is what your book is having you do. Um, if you are making a smaller batch, if you're making a half batch and you change your dimensions to about 6 inches by 15 inches and start using my thing here, rolling pin, and I'm still kind of in the process of, oh, bring it, bringing it together even a little bit at this point, point. and I can tell still got a bit of a ways to go, so I'm just going to keep working with this and making sure I can get it loosened. Um, when you're first learning to make doughs like this, like pie dough and puff doughs, um, people are very scared about using too much flour on the counter, uh, worried about working too much of it into your dough and making your dough dry. And yes, that is a concern, a very legitimate concern. You don't want to be um, over the top. You don't want mountains of, of flour. You just want enough flour to help you keep from sticking to your counter. And as you're moving this around, and trying to get it to the desired shape, uh, you want to um, check it every now and then. Make sure that it's not sticking, because if it is sticking, you're going to be in trouble. Um, so, you know, working it out, keeping it together in a mass, and also making sure it's not sticking to that countertop. Okay, where are we at? We're at about 16 by nine right now. I'm gonna keep working on this, uh, making sure it's not sticking, moving it around until I get to that desired dimension of 12 by 30.